My name is Michael Sears. I'm uh, in Southern California and I'm a financial advisor. We cater specifically to uh, those preparing for retirement and uh, we create financial plans and it's uh, wonderful to serve our clientele. And uh, I know you've been teaching a lot about, I mean, this is all about building trust with the client. And I think um, it is so easy to revert to an old way of doing things where you, you know, you meet, you're, you're, you're talking with a client and immediately, you know, or at least you think, you know, I think that really is the true statement. You think, you know, what the, what the issues are and you just kind of go forward. And a lot of times you don't go forward. And so as we've been working on the things that you have been teaching, here's the question that I think is a good one. When do you know uh, that you have really identified what the real concern is of the client. I think that is, I think that's the key to it. I mean, if we're trying to connect at a very deep level, how do we know when we've really identified what the real concerns are? Because I know that if I do that well, then I'm really creating trust. Okay, great question. As expected from you in the first place. Um, so that's a great question because interestingly enough, we can't be on a um, expedition to search and find what the problem is in the hope that we get to the bottom of it. We have to know in advance in our minds what we believe their problem is. Now you're in a niche, uh, so most likely we could list off three or four of the main issues that almost all your clients have. And you have to know their problem in advance, all those three or four problems in advance of the conversation. Because in the old days, we could fish for it. How's your business going? What are your problems? We, and, and, but now we have to direct them down to get to the point where they're comfortable acknowledging their problem. And so in your case, if you just have you and your team list out the three or four core issues that you believe every single person that has in your niche. And then as you enter the conversation with them and you're listening and you hear them touch on one of them, then you know where to take them down, what I call the iceberg. You'll have a list of four or five questions that might go around this. Like they might say to you, I'm not clear on my financial planning for the future with the retirement. And you can say, can you tell me a little bit more about that? And now you know where it's gonna go next. Well, I had another advisor and I haven't got clarity on where to go next. I've got different plans, different places, and I'm not sure what to do. Huh, how long has that been a problem for? Well, I've had a, so, so now I'm asking the questions because I know where I'm going. I know what the bottom of the issue is. They don't have clarity and they're concerned about that. And here is when you know you get to the bottom. After you've already in advance know where to take people to help them understand their own situation. And that's this question. And that is, is this a priority for you to really finally address once and for all or are you happy just to live with it as it is and let the consequences come naturally over time and i'm okay either way love that that is the bottom of the iceberg when you finally know that you have somebody that actually owns and takes responsibility for their own problem it's like a Therapist and a patient. If the therapist doesn't own their own problem, they're the worst patients because you got to drag them to process. So what you don't want to do is drag a prospect through your sales process. And at the end, they say this. They say, I want to think about it. Right. You want to, And that's because we didn't in advance think through what are the core issues that we know everyone has, what are the questions to ask, and how do we deliver that with care and warmth and empathy so they feel we care about them and then we find out if they want to own it or not. If they want to own the problem and want to solve it, the sale is finished right there. The rest is just onboarding. Right. Okay. Love it. Thank you so much. As always. Great. great. Thank you again. Great to see you, Mike. Thanks a lot for the question.